guys welcome back to my channel so today is going to be another makeup video um today is sunday so the new episode of game of thrones is tonight and then tomorrow my husband and i will record another one of our talk videos for you guys um and i think that's all the updates i have oh as you can see my hair is a different color right now it's not done don't worry i know it looks a little rough right now but tuesday i'm getting it finished it'll be good I'm so excited for you guys to see it when it's all done. But anyway, let's get into the look, shall we? So first we're gonna go in with the Cover FX Blurring Primer. Um, I've been using this for a while now and I really like it, um, especially around my nose and my forehead because I have a furl line right here that I always get creased. So, and then I have really big pores around my nose, which, ugh, this struggle. Don't mind me while I sit and, you know, bask in my giant pores. It's fine. So we're just going to apply this all over the face. Um, I don't know why, but it looks like baby vomit when it comes out of the tube. But don't worry, it doesn't smell like baby vomit. Okay, now that we've got that in, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water as well. This just gives my face a little moisture since I do have a drier complexion right now, especially coming out of winter. Um, so we're just gonna spray that all over. <sighs> Lovely, okay. And this smells like citrus and it, it just smells so good. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm gonna dive in. I actually am going to dive in first with the Jeffree Star Peach um, Color Corrector. Um, this packaging is so cute. <laughs> Can we just address that? I mean, I mean, it's legit. Like this is sharp and it's just so pretty. Anyway, okay. Then we're gonna pop this guy open. Look at that dofa. And this is gonna help conceal. Look at how much product comes out with this dofa. That's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm gonna conceal some of my dark circles and just some blemishes before I put on my foundation. And then I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty blender to let that out. All right, now that that's all blended out, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft Ivory. Um, I've been using this foundation a lot recently. It's kind of comparable to the I wouldn't say comparable. I don't know. It reminds me a lot of the Shape Tape Foundation from Tarte, but drugstore version. Um, I mean, obviously it's dr more drugstore version and cheaper because this isn't even a dofa. It's like a plastic spatula that's in here, which is fine. I mean, it gets product on my face. I can't complain. I'm just going to blend it out anyway. It's not like I'm using the dofa to apply or blend out. Go back in with that beauty blender. Just blend that all over the face. Alright, now I'm going back in with concealer. This is the shade C2 from Jeffree Star. Um, again, adorable packaging. It's legit. It's so custom and I expect nothing less from Jeffree. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer here. Down the nose. Get the chin. And the thing that blows my mind the most is I normally have to do like two to three dunks in the Shape Tape Concealer, which I actually have sitting right here in the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for applying. I don't know if it's just because I use it so much or if it's because of the Dofa or I just need that much. I'm not sure, but with the Jeffree Star one, I've used it a couple times now and I've only had to dip in once, which is great. So that means the product is going to last me that much longer, which is something I value very much in a product. So I'm just gonna blend this out with a damp beauty blender. You hit the road. Now I'm gonna dip into the Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, setting powder. This is in the shade Fair. Um, this stuff smells like cotton candy. It's great. I also love the fact that in the packaging, it has this like open and close system because then I don't waste as much product because I feel like whenever like, because you dump so much product in here and then there's still some left over the little filter 
and then when you close it it just goes everywhere and you waste so much so I really like that about this can you open this up oh it smells so good mm. I'm just gonna tap some into the lid I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush this is the BH cosmetics number one brush I'm just gonna get right in there right away so but you don't realize I'm on the back when you're around. Now that I've got that all set, I'm gonna go in and bake a little bit. And I use so a lot of people just use the same damn beauty blender. For some reason, I just like using a dry beauty blender. So you can see this is kind of caked and I need to clean it, but I don't know why. I just prefer using a dry one compared to a damp one. Just gonna apply that under the eyes, get in those creases. I won't think twice when you're gone. Don't hesitate to call me back. Now I'm going to let that sit. And while that sits, I'm going to go in and start doing my contour. I'm using the Park Ave Princess palette from Tarte Cosmetics for this. I'm going to go in with the shade Angel. Angle. I'm really bad with words. I'm sorry. I think it's Angle. It's angle. The shade angle. We'll go with it. It's the warmer tone bronzer. And I'm just gonna do some big fluffy circles just to warm up my skin. Since I am pretty pale right now. My husband made a comment that I over bronzed the other day, so I'll be a little more covered for you guys. So just light, big round circles to get that warmed up. I'm also going to go around my jawline too. This is one of my favorite brushes. This is the, it's missing the handle, but I believe it's the, let me see if I can find the handle. Um, I think it's the Aesthetica brush, I think is what the brush is called, or the brand of the brush. I don't know where the handle is, but anyway, yeah, so the handle broke out, but I still love this brush so much, I still use it. Um, I'm going to go in with a Luxie 660 Precision Brush um, and go into the shade Princess Cut just to sharpen up that contour. Make sure it gets blended in really well with our bronzing color. Another nice thing, so the Jeffree Star Setting Powder smells like cotton candy. This palette smells like chocolate. So you're just getting all of the sweets with this look. If you're using the same products. Granted, you do not have to use the same products for this, just anything comparable to colors, shades, whatever you're comfortable with using. And then I'm gonna go in with a, the BH7. It's just like this little round floppy brush, and I use this to contour around my nose. Still going in with the shade Princess Cut for that. And I kind of sweep that up into my brow just to get that round ridge. And a trick I actually learned from watching a Cameron Michaels video. She's a drag queen. Love her. Um, when it comes to uh, contouring your nose, to make sure, since, this, since I put powder and concealer down the front of my nose, it kind of brings it all to one level. And I want to define some, I get like an indent coming out and down. So I also kind of um, contour between my brows here. So I get that definition of that depth, the top of my nose, as well as down here. I'll put a little line to make my nose look like it's got a little cute little boop. Just for a tip for some of you, if that's uh, something you were wanting to try or you already do, maybe, I don't know. Okay, now that I've let my face bake for a little while, I'm going to sweep that off and blend it into the contour so it's not too harsh. Right, so this is the face. I'm going to start going in with eyeshadows now. I'm going to go in with the James Charles Morphe palette, uh, the artistry palette. So pretty. Amazing color palette. 
every color under the sun. <sighs> I've used mine quite a bit. I actually took it with me to the Miss Amazing pageant, um, the Wisconsin Miss Amazing pageant. Um, it's a pageant for girls with special needs or um, any type of disability. Um, it's a platform for them to feel more confident in their own skin and just a way of supporting them. And I do makeup and hair for this event. It's so much fun. All the girls are really great. I actually met one of the girls. I'm a huge anime nerd. So one of the girls talked to me about uh, Soul Eater for the whole time I was doing her makeup. And it was it was just a blast. It was so cute. And you find ways to bond with these girls over the some of the <laughs> weirdest things. Like I said, anime was one of the things I bonded with one of the girls over. Another girl wanted to look punk rock for her pageant look. So I dressed her dressed her up with bright purples and everything for her eyeshadow and then I went in with a nice bold black lipstick. She absolutely loved it and it was just so amazing to see those smiles on those girls faces. So I am going to dip in to the James Charles palette. I'm doing a blue look kind of going for more of an oceany vibe. I'm actually going to go in as well with I have medical tape here that I'm going to use because I want a really defined angle for my look today. So I'm just going to go in with some tape to cut that line for me so I don't have to clean it up with concealer later. into I think I'm gonna start with a nice nude cool tone color so I'm actually gonna dip into the lightest uh, tan color that's up here to start Brushes, brushes. this is a Luxie 227 blending brush and it's just kind of big and fluffy to get some color all over the lid for me and now that I've got a nice base down, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to do one eye and then do the other eye off camera so we can get it all done in one go. So now I'm going to dip in to, I'm using another pretty big fluffy brush. This is just a generic brush. I don't know what brand or anything like that. I'm going to jump in. I believe the shade is called Playground or Brother. I don't remember which one it is, but it's this really pretty blue right here that I'm going to dip into next. And I'm going to put that into the crease and extend it out pretty far here, almost to where the end of the tape is, just to get that nice angle that I'm going for. All right, now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with a Morphe M506. It's just a smaller blending brush. Um, and I'm going to go into this deeper blue shade right underneath that light blue one we dipped into. And I'm just going to deepen up that outer corner and the crease a little bit more. Alright, now that I've got that nice and deep, um, I think I'm going to go in with black as well. Just... I'm actually going to use this flat angled brush. Again, not a brand on here or number. I can't help you. I'm sorry. And I'm just going to basically cut out a nice little triangle for the outer corner just to deepen it up that much more. And then I'm going to go in with my finger to the light metallic blue shade that's right here. And I'm just going to swipe that onto the lid. There. Now we kind of get that oceany blue vibe that I was going for. And then I'm going to go in with the, sh with the um, ColourPop liquid liners. Um, this is in the shade Graceland. So the white shade. And this is what I'm going to use to line my eyes. So we get like that crashing wave uh, wing kind of look. And there is that. So we're kind of getting that crashing wave look that I'm going for. Um, so I'm going to peel the tape back and we get this nice line that I was going for as well. 
So that's the eye look. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right, and this is the eye look. I went ahead and did the inner highlight with the Stilla Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Freedom. And I also added the colors that were on the top down to my lower lash line. I also went ahead and did my brows off camera and I used the same eyeliner pen in the shade Graceland from ColourPop to fill in my brows so they were white. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some blush and a highlighter and then we'll move on to body paint. <laughs> body paints. So I'm going in with the Mehron makeup. Um, this is the Paradise palette. If I can open it. It's stunning with all of these colors and I'm so excited to dip in and use this. Um, this will be my first look using the Mehron paints and I cannot wait. <laughs> I don't know why you hit the road, but you don't realize I'm on the back when you're around. I won't think twice when you're gone. Don't hesitate to call me back, cause I won't.
I don't know why She told me it's not your fault But you don't Expectations take it weigh me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I'm gonna live inside the upside down for a minute and pretend. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. Whoa, whoa. And if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head and I start to see. Honey, I'm a UA turned out pretty good. I didn't get into as much detail as I probably could have since I did downsize this quite a bit. Um, other than that, I hope you guys like it. I'm going to throw on an accessory and we'll do final six. <laughs> 